Max Mackler leads away from Jan Rathiski. Oliver Bultink got it right in third position. Let's just see what develops over this first lap. Jan trying to pressure Max. Max still leading this one through the Efra Chicane into the Montec M. Trying to pull away from Jan. Round the infinity. Oh, and oh, there's contact there. Jan's in the fence. Okay, so contact between Bultink and I think what happened, Jan got the car slightly sideways in the infinity curve and Bultink got alongside him as Jan tried to rejoin. I don't think anybody's fault. It was just a, a racing incident. Uh, the, the two of them touched and uh, as does sometimes happen, uh, Jan Rathiski's car just got fired off the circuit sideways. What seems like uh, just a, a little bit of door banging and the, the car ends up just out in the fence. So we've got Max Mackler leading this one now from Oliver Bultink. Uh, I think Martin Hoffer's up into third place. So uh, massive, massive implications here. This could make life really easy for, for Max. Not, uh, not sure what's going to happen with Oliver as well. Uh, just looking at the possible permutations for that. Going to try and figure out what the uh, what the possible permutations of that are. Max, he, he'd win it with, with two ones if it finished as it is. Uh, Oliver would have two twos against, well, at the moment, Jan's got a one and a six. So Jan needs something much better than his six. He, he's going to need at least a three from that. So uh, Jan's got to drive his way back through the field. We'll keep an eye on where he is. So in order to get second overall even, Jan's going to have to get himself back up to third place to have a, a chance. Of course, that's assuming that uh, Oliver Bultink doesn't catch and pass Max Mackler. Uh, if that was to happen, then Oliver would have a one and a two to go with Max's one and a two. I think Max would take it on his TQ. So Max probably could afford to let Oliver go if he feels he's under too much pressure, but he's not going to want to do that. I think uh, Oliver could do this if he catches Max and gets past him. Uh, I think then he's got to hope that uh, Max makes a mistake and drops out of second. So Max going to try and defend, but he's safe in the knowledge that if he feels the need... Uh, he can give a bit of space to Ollie. One and two over the time, though, going into the Omega. Really close now as they go through the Montec M and down onto the, down the back straight round the infinity curve into the Ephra chicane. Just seeing where Jan's made it up to. Jan's made it up to seventh, so that's not going to do him. Uh, that's not going to be enough for him. I think that's even going to drop him out of contention for the podium. So uh, th this has got to be pretty galling here for uh, for Jan. He's got to get right out of the way of the two leaders he'd hoped to have been running with them. So Jan having to get out of the way of Max and Ollie as they come past. Main straight, one minute 30 left. Ollie still pressuring. Mistake there from Ollie. So, uh, mistake there from Ollie going into the infinity curve. Uh, Max does a, uh, sorry, Jan does a really nice thing and uh, actually, you know, breaks pretty much to, to let Ollie rejoin and take up that battle again. So, Ollie Bultink now trying to chase down Max Mackler with one minute 10 to go. on the main straight again through the infinity curve. Oli Bultink is throwing everything. He's gambling all on red, trying to take the win. He knows he's got to win if he wants to have any chance of taking the overall title. On the main straight again. Max Mackler doing what he needs to, 30 seconds to go. A little bit of a mistake from Max there in the middle of the Efra chicane. That's allowed Ollie right back with him. They're in the Montec M. Max driving around the, uh, the middle of the circuit. He doesn't want to take too much curve. He just wants to keep this clean. Ollie having a look. There's 
Last second, last lap this is going to be down the main straight into the infinity curve. Slightly sideways from Ollie, so I think that might be enough for Max. They come through the Efra chicane, just keep it clean. There's a little bit of contact, but Max takes it. So Max wins that. So we will go and have a chat with Max Mackler, our new European champion. Okay. Sorry. Um, yeah. Hang on. I've just uh, just jumped back because I've just heard over the microphone as I've uh, as I've jumped down. Um, it's not affected. Uh, hang on. There's. Uh, hang on. Uh, something's going on here because uh, we're just hearing about a five-second penalty for Max Mackler. Um, just trying to see what is going on here. Right, hang on. Uh, there's, right, okay, there's something going on here, and I'm not quite sure how this is going to affect the overall positions at all. Yeah, when I don't know what's exactly what's happening. I don't know who to go and find yet because. Uh, okay, there, there's clearly something uh, something going on down there. So I, I have.